Welcome back to Variologies. I'm Dan Kilcanio. Today we're going to talk about how Jesus is the Son of the Lord. In most Christian Bibles, the four-letter sacred name of God is presented in English as the Lord, with the word Lord being in all capital letters. The sacred name of God is actually four Hebrew letters, Yod, He, Vav, and He, and that roughly is equivalent to the letters in English Y, H, V, and H, sometimes Y, H, W, and H. There are several different ways that people have chosen to say that name, although no one can be absolutely certain because we don't know what the vowel were for God's sacred name. In Orthodox Jewish tradition, it is actually forbidden to even try to pronounce God's name. So different substitutes are used. The word Adonai is used during worship or reading of scripture, and Adonai means the Lord. And in regular conversation, the word Hashem is used to refer to God, with the word Hashem meaning the name. But for the sake of familiarity, I'm going to use the title, the Lord. And so when I refer to God as the Lord, I have in mind God's sacred name. So this becomes important when we look at the scripture and we look at how Jesus is actually the son of the Lord. Now, all Christians agree that Jesus is the son of God. However, Unitarians believe that this phrase, son of God, means that Jesus is not God, since in this phrase, God would be the father. Trinitarians, on the other hand, believe that Jesus is literally God, but not the same person as the Father. So the phrase, Son of God, means that, in this case, the second person of the Trinity is the Son of the first person of the Trinity. Trinitarians can get away with this because in Trinitarian theology, God is a title for both the Trinity and each individual of the Trinity. But what if Jesus is the Son of the Lord? Like, for example, in Psalm chapter 2, it says that the Lord said to the king, You are my son. Today I have become your father. We Christians often apply this verse to Jesus. However, this would mean that Jesus is the son of the Lord. And in the Hebrew scriptures, the Lord is one individual person. He will often say, I am the Lord. So being the son of the Lord would mean that Jesus is not the Lord. If you take this approach, I would hope that things would come into focus, that you would see that Jesus has been appointed and anointed by the Lord to be the Messiah. And indeed, Jesus is our Lord, but he is not the Lord. He is, as it says in the book of Luke, the Lord's anointed. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below or follow me on X at Dan Kilcanio. Support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash variologies. Like this video, share it with others, subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to be notified when I upload a new video, which I do each day, hit the bell notification icon and visit my website, variologies.com. Thanks for watching.